In my son's case, it will probably never be solved. It's always going to be an open investigation. Deb Nothi says she didn't know the depth of her son's addiction until his first time of inpatient treatment in 2011. He told me, and it was like, oh, I was shocked, just shocked. In just a short time, he was out of treatment and went straight back to using drugs. 22 days is nothing. You know, they're not even detoxed yet. And then they say, well, okay, you're ready to go. Garrett cycled through rehab and criminal convictions for drug possession and paraphernalia until he had a fatal dose of heroin. When the people he was with called the police, it was too late, and Narcan, an overdose reversing agent, did not work. He was 28 years old. No family needs to go through this if it's at all possible not to. Family and friends gather on the anniversary of his death to reflect, using the day to ensure that others know that there are people out there who care about them. Grand Rapids is one of the most generous communities I've ever lived in, but a lot of people don't know where to go to get help. They're leaving blessing bags in areas where people experiencing homelessness may be, with a list of area resources, food and water, and other necessities while sharing their story. Melissa Lane has experienced homelessness and said these bags would have meant a lot to her. I would have been surprised that somebody actually cared. You know, I would have been thankful. Doing something good for a good man's legacy. He's a cool person, but I don't know. Say the good die young, I guess. I don't even know. The family says the best way to end the opiate crisis is for parents to get educated and talk to their children. In Grand Rapids, I'm Mal Meyer, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.